Hi Aries, it's Elle here to do your June 3rd to June 17th reading. I'm now going to do bi-weeklies. It's, it's a bit better for me, okay? So let's go ahead and jump right into it. We're going to start with career and finance. All right. Thank you to those who have liked, shared, commented, subscribed to the channel. It's much appreciated. All information of how to reach me is below. Okay, Queen of Diamonds. Some of you could be dealing with the Capricorn Virgo Taurus. You're just making really solid money decisions in your life. Um, saving. Uh, four of Spades. Yeah, taking a break maybe from frivolous spending. Three of Hearts. Um, this talks about regret not saying things or regret saying things. Um, maybe with a Aquarius, Gemini, Libra. Then we have the three of clubs here. This talks about uh, opposition. It talks about change. It talks about um, choosing yourself. Putting put the past behind you. Could be a king of hearts. Uh, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Or something to do with that. Maybe they were unfaithful. They are unfaithful. They make promises just to break them. They you know, create illusion around you. Yeah, four of club. Unexpected, unforeseen, bad event comes in, shakes up the energy. Six of club though, but you'll get success and help in your business though. Or, or career. Ace of hearts, nice. New love, new friendship comes in. When you lay down, um, we have a when you go ahead and decide to have a loss of friendship or loss of relationship with a particular person could be another fire sign like yourself or a reliable friend steps in here because you've laid down maybe an air sign Gemini Libra Aquarius I heard of money you know money messages for Aries money messages it looks like nine of hearts wish fulfilled make a wish it could very well come true okay for diamond it could be surrounding a large sum of money winning the lottery uh, inheritance here Ooh, it takes you to the king of diamonds um solid financially nice 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 ten of diamonds wow health wealth and happiness with the ace of clubs so whatever's coming in for you and then the four of hearts a change in journey or home comes in for you and um it brings about great change here it looks really good uh for career and finance we got a little love in there or a relationship anyway but career and finance looks really really good whatever you hope for you wish for to come in it could very well be coming in for you and uh bringing stability so let's do some love messages. Thank you for the messages for Aries. True, accurate messages for Aries. Messages of love and light, truth and clarity. All right, the love messages for Aries. Love messages for Aries. Okay, Wheel of Fortune. All right. Okay. okay, we'll take them. Um, right. Love messages from Aries. How does the last week, June 17th week end? All right, let's go. Bottom of the deck, Four of Swords. All right, so someone is engaging in rest and prayer, meditation, They've been through a lot before the Four of Swords. Is the Three of Swords? It could be uh, infidelity, cheating, heartbreak, divorce, separation, and they're just trying to gather themselves. The Hangman, the Will of Fortune, Wow, and the World. Three major arcanas right off the bat. Whatever is happening in your life, Aries, is supposed to happen. Spirit is, Universe is really trying to work with you on something and work. To bring about something some of you could be dealing with the Pisces the wheel is turning 
a new chapter, a new day is dawning for you. You've gone as far as you can go in a certain situation. When you have the will and the world together, this says the karmic energy has been paid off. Will you choose to step into a new? And then here's you, the emperor. Wow, this is for you, Aries. Will you choose to take charge of this situation? Will you, or will you just stay in a hangman position and do nothing? Uh, the hermit then okay so you, you take charge or maybe you don't but you go into the hermit mode where you need to self reflect of how to act in this situation what to do ten of wands it looks like you'll lay down the burden page of pinnacle um, maybe with a younger Capricorn Virgo Taurus or um, a child a child that may bring about burden and once you do lay down this burden in regards to a particular person could be younger than you um, you'll have victory the burden that you might be carrying might be within you Aries in regards to old mindsets old way of doing things old um, not transforming not jumping into the new you have something new here and you won't take to it completely an old cycle is has ended jump into the new you keep trying to do the same thing and keep and it's burdensome it's a you know you're not looking at it like that but it is a burden the queen of swords could be dealing with a gemini aquarius libra but definitely gemini here Queen of Cups could be dealing with a water sign, Cancer in particular, Scorpio, Pisces, Five of Cups. Yeah. Um, there's two women here, one man. And that's what you might, some of my Aries women might be dealing with in love. You, you separated from a situation that possibly didn't pan out in your favor. Um, You need to get back in control of the situation. Which way are you going with this? With the Five of Cups. What's the Five of Cups for Aries? What's the Five of Cups for Aries? The Page of Sword. She could be grieving. Yeah, the loss of. What did I say? Right before the Force. Some of you just had to cut some things off. You had to divorce. Maybe an air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. We got Virgo. Another Aries. You were spying on this person and you found exactly what you already, you know, thought it was. Justice. Yeah. Five of Wands. You, you guys may have been fighting about assets competition here trying to hold somebody back from something justice some of you are um, five of cups someone external to you could be going through this also They may be hesitating before making a decision, but they know they need to cut out maybe a younger air sign. They need to divorce, have separation, but because there's only arguing and backbiting, fussing, fighting. Justice says, go ahead, um, enact some justice for yourself. The universe will back you on that. Like, get the ball rolling. That might be someone external to you. Um... So this could be you, Aries. You're going through separation, divorce. Okay, so those are the messages. Someone else could, external to you, could be doing this. Maybe an air sign, or they're with an air sign. You're waiting for a uh, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. They're with an air sign. They're trying to get to you, but they, they have some real heavy energy that they need to release first. Let's get some additional messages. What should Aries be concerned about going forward for the next two weeks? What should Aries be concerned about going forward for the next two weeks? Thank you, thank you. Okay. Thank you for the messages for Aries.
and and that first row for some of you it's um that somebody you're dealing with is like you're destined to be with this person the universe is helping you guys come together <clears throat> under the deck be true to you all right end of an era decisions keep the faith realizations and epiphanies right so it's the end of an era here for you some of you have been in a certain situation a certain relationship marriage whatever business partnership career job it's the end we had the world and the will of fortune next to each other and then the emperor make emperor makes very sound decisions get in control of this situation make a decision keep the faith that knowing that it will work out for you you already know something you feel something realizations and epiphanies um you're seeking and finding here especially if you're listening to a tarot card reading you don't listen to tarot card readings when your life is just hunky dory and everything is great you listen to it you're trying to find a, a bit of clarity in the midst of being unclear or being in an unclear situation you don't have to feel less than because you're doing that we all have done it at one point in our life um it's okay um uh, but do uh acknowledge that i can't stand people get in the comments and they'll say oh my life is great my partner's great well, why, why are you looking at tarot card readings this is really for people trying to find clarity you know in whatever situation so anyway moving right along this says that the end of an era has um you know there's an end of an era make the decision what are you gonna do are you gonna stay in in the old or jump into the new know that if you whatever you choose well if you choose new you get new if you choose old you get old okay we're not even going to sugarcoat that you know like oh i'm just going to stay in this relationship but i know it's not working for me this is a one year this is a year of determining what will be for the next seven years uh whatever you do now is how it'll be for the next seven years if you're miserable now and you've been in a miserable situation for the last seven years and you choose to do nothing on this one year this eighth year then you you know you never got off the merry-go-round you're still there so what you how you start is how you finish you know what do you really want for your life this is the year to determine it so that things can move forward and you can have newness whatever however that looks like newness in a certain situation you don't get newness in an old situation if nothing changes so you know you have to change something or, or so anyway i can go on and on about that if you feel like this energy uh, resonated with you like share comment subscribe to the channel all of my information is below i'll have the website up in maybe a day or two you can go and book online you can even gift readings to other people or you can buy readings for future use for yourself um Take advantage of the $20 special. Three questions. Three clear questions. Please don't make them so generic. Like, what does my future hold? Okay. In what aspect? You know? And it's a three question spread. This isn't, it's not a life spread. I'm not going to pull 72 cards for you. Uh, so be as clear as possible. If you want to know, is he cheating? Is, am I going to move? these are questions that you know they're really you know distinct don't be fuzzy about it uh, how does he or she feel about me that's a that's a nice question but uh, come on stop it all right anyway thanks guys i will see you guys i'll talk to you in the mid june readings take care